As soon as a team wins an NBA championship, it doesn't take long for the conversation to turn to the next season. We know how difficult it is to repeat. What does Golden State need to do from a personnel front office coaching position to ensure they're again one of the best teams in the Western Conference and have a chance to come back to the NBA Finals? Not much, Jeff. Listen, Bob Myers was the executive of the year this past season for all the moves that he made, and it was a process. You're talking four or five years drafting Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, Harrison Barnes, guys like that. They are in tremendous position going forward. Harrison Barnes can sign an extension this summer. We'll see if they wind up doing that. Draymond Green will be a restricted free agent. Restricted free agency, as you know, means the team has the right to match any offer that's out there. So really not much of a fear factor for them losing their core guy in Draymond. These guys are on contract. These guys are not going anywhere. This is why in the Bay Area, when it comes to the Warriors and their fans and the conversation about them, they're preparing for a five, six year run of dominance of some sort. You never know what will happen going forward, but they're going to be dominant. They're going to be who they are, strong defensively, amazing offensively. Steve Kerr is going to get better as a coach first year, and he was so good. So they don't have much to worry about. They were blessed all year long, the healthiest team in the NBA. You go back to the circumstance and the fact that they know there's always some level of luck involved. They got here, they got the job done, but next year it's going to be the same team, just as dominant. Sam, we often hear general managers talk about sustainability, and it looks like Golden State has built that sustainability for the next three to five seasons. Jeff, these Cleveland Cavaliers get back to the finals in LeBron's first year back in Cleveland. Vegas already has that as the odds-on favorite to be the champions next year. I'm sure the Warriors appreciate that. But how do you see this from a roster standpoint going forward? How do they get back here and finally get this thing done? Sam, they have some work to do. You mentioned Warriors general manager Bob Myers did a great job. Cavs general manager David Griffin also did a nice job. But again, he has work to do, and that starts with retaining Kevin Love. Kevin Love is not guaranteed to return to the Cavaliers next season. J.R. Smith has a player option. Iman Shumpert is a restricted free agent. And we saw that they needed more depth, Sam, in, in these finals. And, and they need to add to that. I know the injuries to Love and Kyrie Irving contributed to that. But they still have work to do. Build the depth, sign some of those key players, and go from there. What I know right now, there's going to be no expense spared when it comes to continuing to build this roster. They're going to keep going into the luxury tax if they need to. We know that the salary cap is escalating, but it's going to be crucial to make the right moves, Sam. We know this is a, a win-now window for the Cavaliers. LeBron James still has good years left, but they want to get that championship sooner rather than later. Jeff, what about David Blatt's situation? I think on paper it looks great, but people are always wondering where does he stand with LeBron and the Cavs? What do you see on that front? It's interesting, Sam. I go back to January when the Cavs were struggling. General manager David Griffin came out, and it was more than the dreaded vote of confidence that we sometimes see. It was an actual vote of confidence for David Blatt to get this team to the finals. They lose Kevin Love in the first round. Kyrie Irving was in and out of the lineup for two rounds, got hurt in the first game of the finals, and they still made this a competitive series. It would be very difficult to make a coaching decision. With that said, Sam, this has been an organization that has gone through coaches since LeBron James left. I do believe David Griffin added some stability but you never know in these situations. If I'm going on my gut feeling, David Blatt returns for a second season with the Cavaliers.